regular council meeting, August the 1st, 2012, will be now called to order. I'll ask the city clerk to please do the roll call. Mr. Michael? Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Palumbo? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Mr. Pierce? Here. Mayor Here. Uh, let's stand and do the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. time we have a presentation uh, by Doug yeah. Hi everybody my name is Doug Zuko I'm a local business owner I own open air imaging down here on Clown Town Road but today I'm here to talk about a company called by the name ACN ACN is a company that's been around for 20 years deals with home services, not only in the United States, but in 23 countries and four continents. But just lately with the deregulation of electricity, they've reinvented themselves. And what they deal with basically is all types of home service. And you're probably wondering what this has to do with the, the city. Well, I'm gonna make this as brief as possible in just hopes of pique your interest. And at a later date, maybe we can have a meeting and I can get in further depth with it. But what this can do is it can save the community money and it can make the city additional money. You know that every, most people in town have a home phone. Well, everybody has a cell phone. Everyone has a television set. Most everyone has internet. Most, you know, um, as far as, you know, a lot of people have home security systems. ACN actually has become, become not only as own phone company, they did that 20 years ago, but just in the, within the last year they became their own energy company and their own cell phone company. They partnered with Verizon and Sprint and actually become their own cell phone company. So what's this mean? Well, very briefly, every time someone pays their phone bill at home, their cell phone bill, their television bill, their internet, their electric bill, their gas bill, a home security bill, and, and some other things coming down the road is going to be credit cards. The city would actually make money every time someone uses their credit card. So there's a lot to this and a lot more things to come. But basically, we're not asking anyone to buy anything. Everyone in the community already uses all those services. They pay those bills every month. They pay those bills before they pay their rent or their mortgage because they they can be a few months late with rent or mortgage. But if you're a few months late with your television or your electric, it gets turned off. So people are very sharp, very prompt to pay those bills. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is, it's just basically a no-brainer. The city can make money on a monthly basis every time the community and people outside the community who want to support the city and save money on their bills, <coughs> that's probably as brief as I can make it, but uh, I think I covered most of it. So you would have to subscribe to their service for the electric service, the cell phone service? I'm glad you answered that question. West Penn Power is now the, the provider. They're the dis distribution company <coughs> for our, our region here. So everyone that's in the West Penn Power service area, which we are, is serviced by West Penn Power. But now you have several choices, either residentially or commercially, to pick a third party electric provider and a gas provider. We are one of those companies. Actually, we've just, within the last year, become our, grown so rapidly that we at first partnered with another company and now we have just become, within the last year, our own energy company. So we can offer energy to savings and make money for the community, for the city. 
We also partner with Verizon, T-Mobile, <coughs> Sprint, DirecTV, Dish Network, ADT Home Securities, Vivid Home Securities, uh, there's probably some things, uh, Comcast, uh, Verizon Fios, some AT&T services, and probably some things I'm forgetting. But what this means is if someone is a Verizon customer, they can remain a Verizon customer, <coughs> but the city will earn a percentage every time they pay their bill. So people are not leaving West Bend Power. We are not in competition with West Bend Power. We are not in competition with Verizon or DirecTV. All we're doing is providing their services. If, if you watch television for an hour, you're gonna see a Verizon commercial, you're gonna see a DirecTV commercial, you're gonna see an energy commercial, you're gonna see all types of commercials. And when companies pay those pay for those commercials, it costs millions of dollars. But there's no guarantee they're gonna be customers. But with ACN, <coughs> those companies do not pay ACN until they get the customers first. So they're willing to pay ACN a higher percentage, which in return can make the city money. Answer your question. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Do you have a business card? I do. This is for the imaging center, but my my number is off, my cell phone is off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. For your time. Any comments on any agenda item? job. With that being said, let's start with the resolutions. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Union Town to accept and report of the treasurer for the month of July 2012. Be and the same is hereby accepted and filed. Mr. Jones. No question. Mr. Plumbo. No question. Mr. Geary. Uh, no question. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Palumbo? Yes. Mr. Geary? Yes. Mayor Pike? Yes. We are resolved by the City Council and the City of Union Town, the Council hereby accepts the minutes of the July 11, 2012, regular council meeting. Mr. Jones? No question. Mr. Palumbo? No question. Mr. Geary? No question. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Palumbo? Yes. Mr. Geary? Yes. Fight. Yes. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Uniontown. Council hereby directs the Director of Accounts and Finance to make payment of the following invoices for services rendered or products procured for the City of Uniontown for July 2012 invoices in the general fund $130,255.13, $10,000 in $10,918.57 to be transferred to Off Street. Sewer fund one hundred forty-three thousand three hundred ninety-eight dollars and thirteen cents, two thousand four hundred sixty-four dollars and seventy-seven cents to be transferred to recycling for payroll. Off street thirteen thousand nine hundred eleven dollars and twenty-three cents. Recycling two thousand eight hundred three dollars and twenty-one cents. Community development two hundred eighty-nine dollars and twenty-three cents. Highway nineteen thousand six hundred three dollars. Recreation eleven thousand two hundred twenty-eight dollars and two cents. Library thirty-one thousand one hundred sixty-seven dollars and forty-eight. Mr. Jones, only question I have: the money we give to the library, do we have any control over the library? Any any say in hiring, firing, anything at the board or not? Reimbursed from the library, we carry them under our health insurance. They're also part of our retirement plan, but we don't have anything to do with the hiring or the firing. 
out of the six, six and a half cents out of every tax dollar that they get, what you're saying is they in turn take that money and pay us back for the health benefit. For the health benefit. And they use that revenue on the thing for their payroll. Okay. That's the only question. Okay. Mr. Palumbo? No question. Mr. Geary? No questions. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Palumbo? Yes. Mr. Geary? Uh, yes. Mayor Pike? Yes. the understanding that it's going to be done in service if possible. In house, yes. Okay. okay. In other words, um, well, that's the reason why I, I, we, I asked, you know, we had talked about some people and they, were, they didn't want to get up that high. So a lot of, a lot of my guys couldn't do it. Because they, they didn't want to get up 90 feet and, and I didn't. So um, it's, up to, it's up to council. I had talked to the fire chief, well, he's here. I talked to him and he said he would look at it, <clears throat> see if the fire truck could get on the, on the ground over there. And I talked to the city painter who said he could, he could do the paint. Well, the only question that's been raised, chief, is about paint on your fire truck. That's my issue. That's concerning. I, 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 I thought they were gonna brush it, but it, whatever you choose, Take a look at it. If it's something we can't do, I'll certainly tell you. I didn't go ahead and get that truck on the field. My only thing was, it's a we have, <coughs> we have a sprayer. A sprayer is a mist. Right. And you guys keep a sprayer truck so nice that I didn't want to risk. But if, if you're going to cover the truck like Blair said, then we can look into. I just didn't want to take the risk. It's up to you. And you know, well, I mean, I don't want to commit until we really take a look at it. But I'm going to look okay. at it. Well, then we'll vote on it. Do you, do you still have a bucket truck? Yes, it won't reach out. Oh, okay. It won't so reach out. Yeah. But uh, so we'll we'll, we can vote on this with the understanding that if the fire department and my painter can do it, we'll do it that way. Okay. That's all right. Jeff, you'll need to sign it. I did sign it. He signed Well, that, uh, your bucket or your ladder goes way out away from the truck, does it not? Depending on the height of the poles, how close we have to get, I'm not sure how high the, the pole, The four poles on the inside are fine. You can reach with no problem. The two on the outfield are, are in excess of 90 some feet, maybe close to 100. Also, we can only do 90 feet. Okay, well, then. All right, well, we'll take a look at it and, and go that way. Okay, sure. Mr. Gear? Let me see here. Same time, we might be able to get a lift if the fire truck can't do it. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, which, 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 which can still be done in house. Yeah, yeah. Done I didn't house. know Rob was available to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I he's he was very good. capable. Yeah, I, would, I just didn't know about the height. Some people didn't. Anybody know where you get a lift? Uh, well, for anybody, 
Yeah. Well, probably the place. You need one for your building. You want to <laughs> Industrial would probably have something like that. Or a bigger one or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Plumbo? Yes. Mr. Gearing? Yes. Mayor Pike? Yes. Mm -hmm. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Union to authorize installation of a new air conditioning unit on the second floor of City Hall at Gilliland and Rapotsky at an estimated cost of $5,182. Mr. Jones. No question, it's needed. You really think you need to be there? Mr. Plumbo? That's, uh, that's fine. Yeah, no question. Mr. Geary? Uh, no, no, no comment. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Plumbo? Yes. Mr. Geary? Yes. Mayor Mike? Yes. Resolved by the City Council of the City of Union Town to approve the development of a website for the City of Union Town by LakeDesign.com for the following price. Five to six page website development, $500. Content management system installation setup, $420. One year website hosting, $90 a year, and one year purchase of Union Town PA Golf House domain, domain name at $150 a year. Which comes to? Are those all individual numbers, prices? Well, I think the 500 and 420 is a one-time fee, and then the 90 and 150 will be once a year. So you have two, 920 <clears throat> start with, and a 240 from that on. Right. And this would be to put everything out on the website. That would cover the Police department. Yes, ma'am. Fire department. What's your thought on it? Good, better, uh, uh, it's a very good idea for the city. Also, it's done. We're going to look at some sponsorships, volunteers, businesses in town. I think it's a good idea to keep up changing times and uh, get more technologically caught up in the town to be on, on the website for people to see it, add a tourist attraction too, so I think it's a great idea. It's a good sell for the city now. Yes, it's about time to get it. <coughs> Mr. Geary? Uh, well, obviously I think that we need uh, a website that will be beneficial for the city. I'm just kind of wondering how many people did we get quotes or proposals from? Could see if there's a finder where you can get it for less, but 
It's not. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad. Yours is more intense. For me, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Colombo? Uh, yes. Mr. Gary? Uh, no, I, I was kind of still with, with the mayor. I, I'd like to be able to ask somebody and see whether or not they'd be willing to do it for, for less and still meet whatever <coughs> criteria that we put out uh, for, for a spec sheet to, to be able to do something. So if we're voting on this right now instead of tabling it, uh, I'm going to, uh, even though I think we need to have a website, I'm going to vote no. Mayor Mike? You're not going to believe this, Gary, but I think I'm going to vote with you on that. Not that this isn't a good company. I think it should be to see if you get it for the least amount of money. And we can still get it done. I want to see it done. I want to see it done with the least amount of taxpayer dollars. Do you recall, <coughs> excuse me, do you recall by the city council, the city of Union Town, whereas the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transportation is the agency charged with granting permits to allow the placement of signs or banners within state rights of way. And whereas the Department of Transportation requires the city of Uniontown to pass a resolution to authorize the placement of banners or signs and to set certain limits on said banner or sign, and whereas <coughs> the city of Uniontown wishes to allow banners or signs relative to national, regional, or local functions or charitable affairs. And this uh, banner is a request from Lake and Lake Walk, um, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Mr. Jones? No question. Mr. Plumbo? No question. Mr. Geary? Uh, no questions. I'll just ask people to uh, a great cause and a great organization, and hopefully uh, we have good weather and lots of walkers. Absolutely. <clears throat> Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Colombo? Uh, yes. Mr. Geary? Yes. Mayor Pike? Yes. It was resolved by the City Council of the City of Uniontown to authorize the purchase of an upgrade to a second limb dispenser at the Penn Street pay, Garage pay station on the CTO system <coughs> at a purchase price of $5,000. Details attached here too. Uh, Mr. Jones? No Mr. Plum? No Mr. Geary? Well, okay. change the change box. Currently we have a box at the Penn Street garage that differs from the Church Street garage. This box gives one and quarters. The coins are running out and getting jammed constantly. The dollar It's on a daily basis. It's a daily basis. Yeah. Somebody from City Hall has to go over there and attend to this pay station. Luckily it's not as far away as Church Street. But the other one works so much more smoothly being that it only gets five dollars. That's the comment that I was going to bring up was because again, you know, every other time that I'm coming into the office, it's somebody fun. is saying that you know that they've got a problem and when over there. Week, they're this. lined up clear out the door because of the issue, and we fill it up every day. We change the box every day, but it's still always a problem. And this is addressing that issue. Yeah. And it's a proven fact because the other one works mm, much, yeah, much better. Yeah. And so. Then would we have two machines there, or is this team actually going to replace that one? It, it's just basically changing the, um, if you see the attached... Oh, we're just changing the, the internal mechanisms. Yes. so that it, it doesn't take quarters anymore, or give quarters, it only take, gives one with five. It's a two-minute box. Morning, I was hoping that we were going to have two machines, then one was going to be a backup. Well, we have two boxes, as it is, for each garage, and we won't need to buy an additional backup box, but it'll, it'll just be the begin size. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Colombo? Yes. Mr. Geary? Yes. And Mayor Jones? Yes. That's all I have. Chief Colbert? Mayor, how are you? Very good. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Um, one request, uh, we have a, a Southwestern Park School this weekend at California University. Um, can uh, the fire department override those kind of things? So that would give them two different options uh, if they're unable to use the elevators at the university. I hope that's not a problem with council. You mean to inspect? No, it's just it's a class, an elevator class. Um, you know, we 
we obviously have a lot of elevators in the city, and a lot of our, our guys are taking class, but they just like to look at different elevators. Uh, those are both um, hydraulically run with a hydraulic cylinder. So they like to, if they could on Sunday, come in and just take a look at the operation of the one in the new parking garage. Um, I mean, they won't interrupt any service or anything like that. And, okay. and then also, we uh, went through a, a voluntary certification through the uh, State Fire Commissioner's Office. And uh, out of the 31 active firefighters we have in the city, that's counting the 13 paid staff, 75% of our firefighters are trained to the state mandated uh, rules and regulations. So uh, they've got a nice sticker that's on all the engines. So, and it's not many people take advantage of that. And, I, and Lieutenant Griffith did a lot of work getting that done. Um, I, I just think it's a real positive thing for the city to be recognized like that. So you're really in competent hands when we're on the fire scene. Other than that, I mean, things are great. Um, I'm willing to help in any way if, if um, you know, Chief Jones and I can work that out at Bailey Park and work with Jody, we certainly will. Continue to help Mr. Henderson. We uh, were called in, we did the uh, observation on the final uh, inspection on the fire pump at the high school. The sprinkler system is all up and installed and ready to go. Um, so we spent a couple hours over there today with uh, K2 Engineering and uh, the high school staff. So. That project's almost completed and the sprinklers are all fully up and operational, which is a great asset to us in the fire service. So, and the, the posies have been watered by God lately, so we've been pretty fortunate there, but uh, we'll continue to do that little project too through September. Very good, that's very much appreciated, everyone. Those garden women are great people. I mean, uh, I really enjoy working with them. And then I need to get with uh, Mr. Yager and we really need to look at the roof at the east end. We need to get uh, K2 up there, somebody to give us an estimate on materials. Because we're running out of time, right, Mr. Yelder? Yes. Uh, on that money project for the east end fire station. <clears throat> that uh, money that he has in reserve for materials, we really, to the point we need to come up with some ideas and at least get the materials in place and then figure out the, uh, the rest of the project as far as getting the roof done. So, if, you know, Mayor, we could work that out and get you know, Mr. Rover to give us a hand on that. I'd certainly appreciate it. I'm not mistaken. I think we have about 15,000 working on roof, right? Yeah. And we <coughs> talked, you know, to the Brunerhof, uh, their roofer, but he's so far behind, and um, unless you got a little more pull than I do, uh, they didn't really feel that that was something they, they would be able to tackle this year to help us out with the labor. Other than that, just glad to be here. Okay. But if we could at least get some idea, a cost estimate on the yeah. material, so we could get those bought and store them, um, that way we, you know, we'd be on board for the project. That's all I have. Issued 1,288 calls in the month of July. Um, you know, dealt with uh, quite a few significant incidents involving the kidnapping and some pretty extensive uh, drug investigations, but uh, we're doing well and continue to move forward. Great. Sure, that makes everybody feel better. Joe, three minutes. What's up, sir? Yeah. Today was the first day for the taxes and everything, and uh, everything's going well. Our early month report for the city real estate tax uh, came in, and we bounce out. So we're coming. We're got another month inside. Hope to pull in about four hundred thousand dollars between now and December thirty-first. Very good. Thank you, Mark Albert. Uh, Mayor, Miracle Lake Field just about ready to open up over there. Uh, I think Sunday they're going to have their first ball game, but the official opening of the field won't be until later in August, and they're trying to organize a parade and things for the kids. So. I think that's on the 19th. Yeah, I believe it was so. Mm -hmm. So it came the thanks of uh, Mr. Jones's people, Joby's people, Phil Mahoney. Everybody's worked their rear end off over there yes. to get that park open. So My guys just finished painting the uh, dugouts. Yeah. yeah. Very, very beautiful. Well, we've been uh, a lot of work been done in the last two weeks. 
the infield's now completed. Uh, I believe all they have to do is set the bags. So they're hoping to have their first game Sunday, weather permitting. I don't believe it is ever in the history of Union Town will as good as it does now. Yeah. Sure, as far back as I can remember. Yeah. Talk to the volunteers. I uh, should have the big field completed by the end of next week. Uh, we were waiting to get the fence put up to finish the loom on that field. So what would you think an estimate? How much money, the most of was great, how much money do you think we spent over there in the last two or three years to make it like it is? A lot. Yeah, probably a uh, quarter of a million. Just or then, more. Uh, or more. I'm just talking about the two fields. Sure. Not counting the other work that's been done there. So. And that doesn't count the in house, the in kind service. Oh, I know. The city. Without the city crews, we could never did it. That's just, never, just remarkable. It is remarkable. We could have never have done it. Couldn't afford to do it. And you know what? That, 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 without Mark Yarger in his office, I don't want to thank you very much, too. Yes. yes. When I had that vision for that park, you know, I, I, I didn't realize what kind of fight I was fighting off. <laughs> Make a bite, too. <laughs> yeah, so I said, oh, man, we got to do this, we got to do that. I was like, oh. But she really helped make it make the dream a reality. And it's not done yet, but it's yeah. You're starting to see now, if anybody's been down, they're gonna take a look at it. Yeah. You're starting to see the end result. And uh, a few more things have to be done. I wouldn't be working on that you breaking ground with the session stand here in the coming months. And uh, that's Yeah, we the we downturn in the economy the way it's been, I think Union Town has much to be proud. Oh, that's the miracle. I mean considering the recession we're in, it's not gonna Look at that. I mean, we set an example for other people to look at. Like, you know, it can be done. Yeah, we submitted our final plans to DCNR for the last grant we received for the walking trails and the new concessions and restrooms. They're reviewing those now, and uh, as soon as they've already given us half the money, grant money up front. So uh, as soon as they finalize the drawings and. We can get started hopefully in another month to finish the walking trails and, and get the restrooms, the new restrooms and concession stand started. What about the Maple Street? Maple Street uh, looking good. Yep, just finished number seven, uh, started number eight. Up on Lemon Street, we're building another parklet up on Lemon Street. We stopped because of the drought because it's a lot of landscaping that's going in that park. And it's just a green space for the kids to play. It's so nice. Yeah, the, there's a large embankment that we're going to landscape. You know, I didn't want to have to burden the fire company with water in it every day. So uh, the landscaper held up for a couple of weeks. So we're getting ready to, to resume that project and finish it up. New sidewalks are in around the uh, site. So we just have to do the landscaping and the planning. So, I think our forefathers would be very proud of us. Yeah. We're also uh, we're still working on the development of the grocery store out on Gallup Avenue also. We're meeting with different developers and trying to come to a, an agreement. As soon as we get that done, we'll let everybody know. Uh, Mr. Jones? Not that we better be looking about. I mean, can I continue to do all this? We have roads to be paved, we have sewer lines to be dug, and we're postponing that to come over here. I'm not talking about being in the park. Oh, I, I appreciate it. But I'm talking about these other parks. We better be talking about maybe put it out for bids. And, uh, you know, compared to what it's costing us on service. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Uh, this is what I really reiterate with Mark, you know, um, the park has really come along, really a lot of has exceeded my expectations. Um, there, are, well, there are some property, there are some you know, space constraints because of the property, and the property we had to work with, but I think we came through with it pretty, pretty great. Uh, the bases aren't set yet, the Bailey big field yet, um, but uh, there's still some needs to be worked there to level that field off. And after that field's done, 
which is after this fall, my red mark. Yeah. We're gonna leave, let, let that reseeded grass sit there all, all for the whole year through the winter. And then by springtime, we're looking at it, it should be ready to roll. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So that's. I mean, if uh, in the fall, if you have a few games on it, it should be ready for the fall. I mean, the uh, the uh, dugouts are finished, with the new roofs on it, metal roofs look really nice. They color coincide with the uh, the new bleachers and and the stands we put on, and uh, um, I'm really happy with it. There's a few more ideas I have to, uh, as far as decorative things, but Mark and I are going to talk about those. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. So uh, it's it's really coming along great, and it's it's a what's really nice is about it is we didn't want to take the home run totally out of it, but we wanted to make it a little bit harder for somebody to hit. One. So uh, that was the biggest right before. You know, it was so easy. To hit. My, my son, my nine-year-old, could hit a home run in the plus. Now it's going to be a lot harder to do that. We made the park bigger. We had to utilize some of the hillside. You know, don't underestimate how much work was done for this. I mean, I didn't do it. There's a whole team of people that came through. We had to go door to door, knock, and get right away these and those people and on Charles Street. I mean, it, it's a teamwork effort, and I thank everybody for doing it. It's not done yet, but it's coming close. So thank you, Mark, and for everything you've done too. And, and, and Blair. I gotta say, uh, Mr. Jones's department, Phil Mahoney, his team has been down there doing, I mean, I don't know how any, any work was done in the city other than Bailey Park. I mean, they were down there helping me out so much. And they dug and they, so much drain, drainage was put down there, which is a huge problem in the past. Being we are, we, we are closer to the hillside, we were, it, it posed even a bigger problem because of the, the steepness of the hill. A lot of trees and roots were taken out of there that would, would hold back water. And uh, the drainage system was put in that, you know, all these storms we had, I can't tell you, Mark, what do you, what, what do you think? There's hardly any kind of, uh, no water at all in the field. No. And, th and that was a great test. Yeah. Those five days of rain we had, I mean, the field was pretty much dry. So I want to thank your department uh, for coming in and the limited manpower that they have. I mean, you know, they were down there a lot. So, uh, you know, it, it takes the whole effort. You know? I'm, I'm nobody without council, council's help, mayor. Mark, Phil, Blair, you know, so it takes teamwork to make three more people, so uh, I, I applaud you. Thank you. That includes you, Joe. We know you was down here a lot. Johnny is down here doing his thing. Yes, he has. He lived down there for a while. Mr. Geary? Nothing at the moment, Mayor. All right. Resolved by the City Council of the City of Union Towns, the Council adjourns to meet Wednesday, September 5th, 2012, at 4 30 p.m. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Colombo? Yes. Mr. Geary? Yes. Mayor Fike? Yes.